Hey everyone, today we are going to create this Instagram UI animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and we are going to learn how to make this from scratch. You can use this to showcase your Instagram profile or whatever you want. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and in order to create this animation, we need a couple of these things. So I've already imported some video clips that I'm going to use. It's completely up to you. You can use video clips or images, whatever you want. Also, I'm going to use this screenshot, which I took from my Instagram profile. So you can just open up your profile and just take a screenshot of any post you want. We basically need all of these like icons and everything. So once you're done with this, you can import them in After Effects and you're ready to go. Now, first, we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19. 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now i'm going to create another composition for our ui let's call this one ui and for this one i'm going to make it like 1080 by 1920 so that we have this vertical composition like that now we can drag our screenshot inside this and let's press s to scale this down to something like that so that it is covering the area so once you're done with this our next step is to like Take out all of these areas which we don't need so for example we don't need this view inside area we only need these icons and this bottom one so for that we can select this and let's just select and drag so that we can see all of these things and i'm going to drag it to this point now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's select the pen tool and i'm going to select the mask on this layer and let's just drag it down below so for this one, we only need these icons and this text. We don't need this view inside option. So I'm going to quickly make it like that. Now we can select both of these and let's just move them down below. So let's select the top part and I'm going to move it a little bit down. And this one, we can move it a little bit up to something like that. So here we have this very nice UI. And in order to fill the black areas, we can either create a solid and let's just make it white. Just click on OK. Let's place this at the bottom. Now you can see we have this consistent UI. Once you're done with this, we can go back to the main comp and let's drag our UI over here. Let's press S to scale this down. Now here we can again create the background. So right click new solid and this one, let's make it white as well. Let's place this at the bottom. Now we are going to create the frame for our pictures or images. So for that, let's create another composition. Let's call this one footage. So rest of things will be like 1920 by 1080. Just click on OK. Now inside this comp, we are going to quickly drag our footages that we want. So we can scale this up. So you can press Ctrl Alt F to like scale this to the frame size. So somewhere around here, we can like trim this and let's drag the second clip. So let's drag this one. Again, it's completely up to you. Again, press Ctrl Alt F to scale this to the screen. And let's just pick a point. So somewhere around here, let's trim this layer by pressing the alt and the right square bracket. So we have like bunch of different clips one after the other. Now we can go back to the main comp. Now we are ready to draw a rectangle to fit this post screen. Now let's select the rectangle tool. And for the color, I'm going to quickly make it red so that we can see what we are doing. Now let's zoom in and let's just click and drag. And let's just make it somewhere around here. We can select this. Let's search for size. And I'm going to select this. Let's move it to the center of this comp. So for that, we can use the align panel like that. So now it's in the center. You can hold on the alt key and you can double click on this pen anchor tool so that the anchor point is in the center. Now under the size parameter, let's uncheck these. And I'm going to quickly increase its size so that it covers the screen. Now we can increase its vertical size as well just try to keep it in the center so there you go now we have the area in which we can have our post now select this and we are going to add keyframe for size so like that now we can move this keyframe like a little bit ahead so in the beginning i want this to like cover the whole screen so for that we can just make it 1920 by 1080 so that it covers the entire screen also let's press p for position let's add a keyframe let's press u and we can move this keyframe like to this point and in the beginning we can align it to the center of this comp now if i press play you can see it will scale down and it will go back to its original position now we can use it as a track mat for our footage let's drag the clip under the track mat option i'm going to quickly change this to this footage 
like that so you can see that it will scale down to this clip just like this now in case you are using the older versions then you won't have this pick whip instead you will have like alpha matte alpha inverted so i would recommend you to update your after effects otherwise you can just place this shape layer above the footage and then change the track matte to alpha matte so before we proceed if you guys are interested in learning advanced vfx and cgi stuff then i have uploaded tutorials on my patreon page you can become a member and learn all the advanced techniques that i have teach in those tutorials as well along with that you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so you can check them out by simply clicking on the link in the description so let's continue now let's play around with the scale and let's press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and we are going to change the curves to look something like this so we want these to like start really slow but in the middle we want them to have some speed like that so if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation perfect now once you're done with this our next step is to like animate the 3d part of it so for that let's create a null object now we can select all of these layers and let's make everything 3d except the solid white solid which we have over here now i'm going to select all of them and let's just parent this to the null object like that now if i press r you can see we can rotate everything in 3d space now once you're done with this we are ready to animate this out so let's just pick a point so somewhere around here we can add keyframes for rotation let's add keyframe for position as well now press u and we can move like a little bit ahead and at this point we can change the rotation to however you want so i want this to like move to this really nice angle we can also rotate the z space if you want you can make it come closer by using the position property and you can also play around with the position of these so i think this looks good to me so here you can see we have our first frame now we can move a little bit ahead and then change the orientation this time we can move it to the opposite side there you go now again we can move a little bit ahead and then change the position so here you can see we have created a bunch of different keyframes now if i press play you can see we have the animation but it is not looking smooth because we have to ease all the keyframes now in the same way you can like just keep on going and keep on adding all of the transitions so at last we can again move it something like this now we can select all the keyframes press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor now for all of these curves we are going to make them like look similar so in the beginning we want them to be slow and at the end we want the curve to look like that so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice subtle animation so in this way you can just keep on going and keep on animating all of these locations however you want so now we are done with our basic animation our next step is to animate the ui as well so for that let's go to the ui com and first we are going to animate our text so let's select the text tool and we're going to just type and randomly type whatever number you want for the font i'm using this montserrat regular font but it's completely up to you, you can use whatever you want let's just make it smaller and just align it where we have this number just make sure that these are like pretty much the similar size somewhere around here this looks good to me perfect so here we have our text now i'm going to animate the text counter as well so for that let's go under the effects and preset and let's search for slider controller let's drag it onto this text now we can select this text open this up under the text we have this source text hold on the alt key and click on this stoppers to add the expression but instead of writing any expression we are going to just pick whip and just select the slider now if i click you can see we have the slider if i increase this up you can see the value will start increasing but we have one small problem so if i just move it over here and let's add a keyframe for slider let's move like a little bit ahead and if i increase this value you can see right now we are able to see the numbers but if i start playing with the animation you can see now it will like show me all of these decimal places as well which we don't want so in order to get rid of them what we can do is we can type one small expression so let's just search for math dot round and under the rounded braces i want this to be included like that so this is the final expression now if i animate this out so let's add a keyframe for slider controller let's press u and we can move somewhere around here and let's just increase its value to whatever you want 
now if i press play you can see now we only have the whole number instead of decimal places now we have to get rid of the text at the background so for that let's just simply select the rectangle tool and just draw this let's make it white and just place it behind this so we only have this text and now we can select both of them let's press ctrl d to duplicate them and let's just move them to the side so that we have the share option again let's select them press ctrl d and let's just move them to the side now let's select everything press u and we want the variation in their numbers so we don't want all of these to be like similar so for the comments just this one we can like lower it down quite a bit let's say 184 and for the shares we can like make it a little bit higher so we can just increase it like that and yeah i think this looks good to me so now if i press play you can see all of these indicators will start animating perfect now in the same way we can animate our text as well so we can type some text down below so let's select the text tool and let's just click and you can type your username first motion underscore nation again for the font i'm going to use this montserrat this time i'm going to use the medium font and because we want this text to be like a little bit bold let's just select this and place this somewhere around here so once you're done with this we can select this and we are ready to animate it so for the animation part we are going to use uh, preset so just search for alternate character in so we have this preset animation preset so if i just simply drag this now we can select this press u so you can see we have these keyframes and let's just move them to the very beginning now if i press play you can see we have this text coming in now in the same way we can select this let's duplicate that and let's type our caption just type whatever you want fully and let's just add some dots again for this font we can make it like a little bit smaller like that and let's just make it smaller as well and just place it around here so now if i press play you can see we have this really nice caption now our next step is to add the animation for the heart as well so for that let's just quickly zoom in and let's just draw this heart so i'm going to click over here fill we can set this to red so just to see what we are doing and let's add one more to this point now you can hold on the alt key and just play around with the proportion so that it looks nice now once you have this we can duplicate it and let's create the other part as well so let's select this press ctrl d so let's select this shape and let's press ctrl d now under the shape 2 we can go under the transform and let's uncheck the scale value and let's just set this instead of 100 to negative 100 so that it will flip it but now we have to play around with its position so that it is aligned nicely here it looks good so we have a perfect heart now we can select this hold on the alt key double click on this so that the point is in the center now we can increase its size there you go now we have this very nice heart now in auto animate it all we have to do is just simply press s and let's add a keyframe for scale now in the beginning we can set this to zero now in the middle we can make it like a little bit bigger to its original position like this now we can trim this and all we have to do is just play around with the timing let's easy ease them as well so let's go over here and we want the like to start appearing from here i think this looks good to me also we want the numbering to start like a little bit later so let's just select everything let's just select all the numbers and we can move them like a little bit ahead so that they will start animating and for the text as well let's keep it over here so that it will come once we are like down below you can also increase the distance between these there you go now we have added this now at last we can add the liking animation in the beginning as well so for that just simply copy this and just paste it over here and we have it over here so let's align it to the center like that let's press u and let's press u again so for the scale this time we want this to be like a little bit bigger so somewhere around here looks good to me now go to the very beginning and we can parent make this 3d and parent it to the null as well now let's play around with the scale 
and in the beginning we can just simply set this to zero now as we are moving we can just increase its size now over here now we have our animation we can also add some fill effect to animate the color as well just to give it a really nice effect so in the beginning we can add a color like that and somewhere around here we can make it white also we can press t for opacity let's add a keyframe and let's move like a little bit ahead and we can fade this out now let's play with the timing of everything so let's move it somewhere around here let's play around with this size value move these keyframes like little closer so that we have this instant animation let's move these away as well there you go now we have this like and after that we have this very nice animation just like that now if you want you can go inside the footage folder and you can start animating the clips as well so for example after this point we want this to come in so let's add a keyframe for position let's move like a little bit ahead and in the beginning we can move it like out of this frame and after that you can keep on doing this so let's press ctrl alt f and just pick a really nice point so somewhere around here we can have our next frame so as it is going we can have this frame as well again let's add a keyframe for position in the beginning we can move this to this side make sure to extend the bottom one as well so now if i go back to the main comp and if i press play you can see we have this post effect and after that we will have this swiping effect as well so in this way you can create this instagram ui animation and these are perfect if you want to showcase your profile in a really nice and professional way you can use this as a template as well all you have to do is just change the footage over here and also some ui tweaks over here and everything will be already animated so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one